Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to more wish cuisine. Today I'm making yet another simple but very delicious recipe. I am making chicken white karai. It turns white because we add a lot of yogurt and cream in there and we completely omit red chili powder. And it it just need very minimal ingredients. So without wasting time, let's go and make it happen. So first we take a karhai wok or a cooking pot and add some oil in there. Then I'm adding some blended and pureed onion. Usually we don't add onions in um, karhai but this will create that gravy. And start cooking onion until all extra water evaporates and onion just start cooking. We have to be very careful that we don't want onions to change its color. And then when onions are done then I'll be adding chicken which is already cut in 16 small pieces which is also called karai cut. Now start uh, cooking chicken until chicken not only changes its color, chicken will get that fried uh, brownish texture but we have to be very careful because we don't want our onions to change the color so just keep mixing uh, uh, and until chicken gets its color. Then I'm adding some chopped up ginger and garlic and grounded green chili. Now if you don't have a uh, freshly grounded um, garlic that's okay but make sure you add freshly chopped up ginger but it will create that karhai aroma. Then I'm seasoning it some salt freshly crushed black pepper and uh, dry roasted and crushed cumin in there. Mix everything well with the chicken and then I'll be adding some yogurt. After adding yogurt just mix everything very well until everything is combined. Now cover and then we need to cook this chicken until it's completely tender. All chicken and yogurt will release its water and it will cook in its own water. So when your chicken is done and here you can see it created that gravy and everything is completely tender now in the end i will add some garam masala some uh, sliced green chili sliced ginger and cream it's a heavy whipping cream you don't need to whip it up just add the cream in there <clears throat> mix everything well now if you think that it has extra water just cook it on high flame or if it needs water just add a little bit of water in now on a slow flame just leave it for them for at least five minutes and your chicken karai is ready to serve as you can see it just need very minimal ingredients and it's simple quick and it turns out delicious you can serve it with some naan or boiled rice or like my husband like to have it with shirma garnish it with some sliced ginger and green chilies it doesn't need cilantro i just add a little bit to make it look more prettier. If you're trying this recipe at home, please let me know how it turned out with you. If you wanna learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to click on the link to enjoy a lot more recipes like this.